Rog is good, and then he's like, I want to pick somebody else that can control the neutral better. But I'm like, uh, stick to stick to Boxer. Boxer seems pretty tough. Yeah, I mean, he's made it this far with Boxer already. Yeah. I don't know about this being so easy for Steve. I don't know. I mean, he uh, this matchup in particular is one that Steve has been very vocal about being uh, kind of difficult for Ryu. Yeah. Because, you know, Boxer makes it so easy around the fireballs. This is one matchup where any fireball can be your last. Yeah, and that and uh, Boxer has the better burst damage than um. Ooh, there's a than bad Ryu. fireball right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure, Boxer has the mix-up and the damage. Yeah. Wow, just trying to slug him out there, keeping him from pressing any buttons. It looks like he's going for a lot of frame traps, frame traps. Yeah, I don't think any of those are real frame traps. No, I think mm -mm, there's gaps. I think he knows that Steve is not going to press a button between them. Yeah, old he, man Steve. Yeah, if he does, there's going to be a little bit of spacing. So he knows that if he just starts hammering buttons, you know, anything Steve tries is going to be stuck. Yeah, so it's basically free, free um, great Good damage. overhead, yeah. or good block on the overhead, rather. Oh, wow. Oh. He really believed in that one. I think he could have got a better combo, though. He could have, but, you know, damage is damage. I'm just surprised that uh, Darkchild didn't try anything there. Well, Darkchild is kind of an old man player, too. That's He's true. Mm -hmm. Real throw. tricky here. Gonna go for throw? Real tricky here for Steve. Like. There it is right there. <laughs> I know Steve is complaining about that right now. Yeah. He's like, that's so stupid. Ah. They gave this character command grab? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I love Street Fighter, but I'm not good at commenting Street Fighter. I just came up. I, I couldn't see my boy alone on the commentator table. What so. a sweetheart. What a nice man. <laughs> well, I'm happy to nice have you up here. I was definitely uh, getting a little drained. I'm sure, you know, uh, the viewers at home are happy to hear more than just my voice up here. Yes, you have my lovely voice. All right, big opportunity for Dark Child here. Wow. It, it just looked like Starchild really have a good a good um, handle on Steve's time. Like that, like just random sweeps from like range two. Yeah, I think uh, one of Darkchild's big complaints about this character is he says that Balrog's normals are not good. But here we've seen nothing but just I, I know. slapping and slugging. If I was like absolutely new to the game, I'd be like, I would think Balrog's top tier, and this is death. Oh yeah, that's death. That I call that the Steve Age, that overhead into stun or death. It's yeah. gonna be one or the other, man. He's so and, like. He's got the uh, the anime stare, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ever watch anime shows where they, there's some character that's got a stare that freezes you up? Even when you're looking for it, even when you see it, you're like, okay, I'm going to block it. You sit, you sit. You're just like, ah, I can't do it. The Steve H stare. The Steve H stare. His eyes turn crimson red. So who wins this matchup? You know, in Street Fighter V, uh, I've, my opinion, I guess, kind of infamously is that I think that the game is really balanced and that matchups don't count for a whole lot mm -hmm. for most matchups. Obviously, there are some extreme examples, most of them involving Zangief. But in this, oh, of course. I think both characters stand a really good chance. Uh, I think traditionally, most people would say that Boxer wins this match just because uh, Boxer's V skill can make it through those fireballs on reaction so easily. Oh, gosh, but, oh. Speaking of that, like, Steve Ace is proving us wrong. Like, yeah, we haven't seen one. You know, we no. haven't seen that happen a single time. So it just goes to show you. And it's, it's funny because, like, as you said, like, you win. Since Balrog has so many ways to, to adjust to the fireball, Steve H is not throwing fireballs like he usually do at the, in, the, um, in a neutral. Oh, he knows. Yeah. He's so afraid. He, you know, like, he and Darkchild have played a whole lot over the last couple of years, and he has gotten so many of those fireballs back turned. Like, you know, he just doesn't want to throw a bad one. Yeah. Can and he still tap through? The, is the tap still uh, viable in, the, in three, season I, three? It's not as good as it was, but okay. I believe you can still tap through the, the projectiles. I believe there's still some projectile invincibility, but it's no longer plus on block, which is a big uh, big change. Wow. What is it, like minus? minus it's, mi one, it's minus even? two. I think minus all of two? them except okay. uh, final, or <laughs> I'll have to get more spun up, and then I apologize, stream. But I know that it's, you know, most, uh, I think most Balrog players have forsaken the tap. Wow. Punch. Not seeing a lot of utility in it besides the damage, the okay. potential damage anyway. It's not worth losing the rest of your normals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we back to the neutral game. Oh, there's a four nice. Pierce. We knew we were going to see one. Yeah. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And uh, from I was talking to um, somebody. I think Lud said uh, Ford Fierce is uh, plus? Minus two. Is minus two. Okay, so Lud is wrong. That's why I keep losing the Steve. How <laughs> <laughs> rough. I won't tell him you said that. Oh, you don't care <laughs> he go, anyway. He's probably watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, he might be. Yeah, I wonder why he's not here. I wish he'd show up a little more. Yeah, yeah. Might just be uh, too much of a drive from Southern Maryland. Yeah, it's like... 
probably like two hours for him, maybe. Wow. Yeah, or four, a half, at least an hour and a half. Good stuff. I like the usage of the view reversal there. Balrog's sitting on a lot, of, a lot of white life. So potentially one combo could win it for Steve here. Oh, oh he, he went, went for the, for the parry. parry. Yeah. That was uh, an unusually well, gutsy move for Steve. He was going, he was hitting with a lot of straight, I mean, standing what, standing fierce that button was. Yeah, so he was trying to, he was attempting uh, to parry that. Maybe a very rare Steve desperation attempt. Yeah. Steve's very good at holding um, down back and back. That could have been a bigger combo opportunity for Steve oh, the nice. back roundhouse. You can cancel both hits of the back roundhouse now. Oh, okay. That's good. That's, that's a nice buff for you. Yeah. And here we're seeing, we haven't really seen any fireballs punished besides that first one that was jumped in the first match. So it's not so much about fireballs being bad as it's about having to use it truly. Ooh, nice overhead. Wow. Is this round? That's round. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has V-Trucker too. Yeah. Oh, he oh, didn't no, use he meter. Oh, no, he didn't spend the meter. Okay. okay. He, he was confident. Okay, that was nice. Building a lot of extra meter. Ending a round in a throw is the most optimal way to end it oh, because oh, it gains you so much meter. Okay. That's part of the metagame in this game. Also, they, they didn't they buff? Buff throws now, they give it like a X amount of damage. Uh, Slight throws. damage buff. Yeah, yeah. They buffed and they Round nerfed them. One. So they bu I think they improved the roads in the correct way and nerfed them in the correct way. Which is to say that they uh, before there was what they would call throw loops, which yeah. is once you get a throw, you could dash in and, and you know present the threat of another throw immediately. That's something they've toned down in this most recent patch. So to compensate for that, they've increased the damage. Okay. Plus, part of the metagame was uh, in mid-screen, because there was no more set play off of throws. Um, just take the throw? Just take the throw. People were just choosing not to ever tech throws at certain parts of the stage. Look at that big crush hunter good. stopping yeah. the dash right in his tracks. That was a good 20, 20 25%. Yeah, oh yeah, Ryu, man. He still hits like a truck, just like third strike. He got that. Oh, so the bar is stun. He a solid game plan from Steve here. He's going to stagger lows. I could follow. I could follow a, a little bit. You can play this game. Why yeah. aren't you up there? Uh. You should be up on this tournament <laughs> stage playing Grand Finals. It's not too different from Dragon Off Balrog. You just run and <laughs> start punching, right? I would play a Buki in this game. Bro. You think so? Yeah, I would play a Buki. I like uh, set play characters. Really? Yeah. That's surprising. You're a Dragon Off player. Well, that because Dragon Off, it was just, he's just like. Bromats, Bromats alert. He just was attracted. I'm just attracted to this. Okay, and okay. vice versa. I like you uh, <laughs> reselecting your words there. <laughs> okay. I had to backdash cancel out of that. Nice <laughs> <laughs> that counter hit, no confirm. Oh, wow. He went for a shimmy there. Steve didn't believe in it. Jabbed Ooh. him out of it. Two. Nice. Nice throw. Want to throw him again? No. Not a whole lot Ryu can do after that throw. Yeah. So we still got to stick to the same solid game plan. I like. I like Dark Child's normal placements. Yeah, like, absolutely. Both these players have great spacing. Nice throw. Far above average. Steve fighting his way back slowly but surely. Still got 50 seconds on the clock. He's content to use them Ooh. all, too. Ooh. That parry would have been godlike. Yeah, I think that pa that parry shifted his uh, mindset because he like, parry, okay, what do I do next? And he wasn't expecting a uh, rush low. Yeah. Well, I, I don't even think Dark Child was expecting, maybe have been an executioner. I'll have to ask Dark Child after this. You know, just to do a V-Skill right in his face, maybe he was hoping there would be a fireball there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. You're right. Oh, both, both of those. Oh, what? Ooh, the downtown. Steve Age. Oh, There's nice. the DP. He I'm is no stranger to the late DPs. Yeah, I'm surprised he had uh, time enough to do that. Yeah, that's a that is a vital skill. You need. Look at that. Oh, nice. That's nice what I was talking about. I was just talking to Kenji about how um, you could tell a good player if a good player is good or not if they can do um, single hit uh, hit confirms. Oh, in this game especially, it's so important. You know, uh, as compared to like Street Fighter 4, which is like you get like five or six <laughs> you know normals to confirm yeah. in a special like that's jab, 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 medium. That's why I like that watching that one Relento player. Who was it, guys? Who, who was the chat? Chat. Um, the Relento player, Japanese Nim Nemo. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will always go for the uh, crouching, um, crouching, crouching forward to um, Ultra or something like that. It was oh yeah, late cancel. That's yeah. like a third strike cancel. You're a yeah, third strike player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? Ken yeah. low forward to super. Yeah. yeah. It was like a yes, yeah, like a, a literally a second cancel. You could see it and like okay, cancel. All right, Steve Ape, someone who would traditionally would have said that Balrog wins this matchup. Dark Child is no slouch. And it's looking like Steve Ape. Oh, nice. Sitting oh. one game ahead. Okay, they're just slugging now. They're just scrambling. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Yeah, you don't want to put Steve H in a scramble because 
you know, uh, he's more of a defensive player normally, and he likes to wait things out, but his pressure is airtight too, you know? He and knows thing, how to play offensively. The thing about Steve is, like, when you when he starts pressuring you, you get flustered because, like, you're like, this is not Steve. Steve, does, Steve just holds down back all day. So it's like, when he throws off the edge, at you, it's kind of like... It yeah, it's surprising. Off. Yeah, I mean, it's very surprising. He's really... The only reason this man ever presses up, like, to jump is because he's really reading a certain normal, and, like, he's convinced that... That's his only way to beat that normal. Yeah. Good stuff. Late cancel on the on the Hadouken. Oh, nice. Oh, There's my the God. Break. Oh, that's, that's gonna be a combo. That should kill. Yeah, that's, that's that. Just barely, by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> Steve sitting on match point. Round two. Who's sitting in the losers right now? Uh, this is losers. Oh, I'm no, sorry. This is winners. This yeah. is winners. Uh, losers, 56K. Uh, they, he's playing his match right now. OK. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it OG Wan still in? OG OG on just got sent to losers by Steve H. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty convincing. Yeah, uh, I think. Oh, nice. I think with the uh, defensive and more neutral orientated buffs to uh, to Street Fighter Five, you know, making things less about set play and more about neutral control, OG on is struggling to find his place a little bit. He yeah. found a lot more success in the first two seasons of the game. Definitely adjustment I'd like to see him make. It could just be Laura. I mean, Laura might not stand a chance in neutral, but we should get back into this match here, and it looks like Steve H is trying to make a quick end of this. He's looking, he's looking good right now. I mean, it, it, um, our Dark Child went from his um, his normals in the neutral gameplay to like a more walking back and forth gameplay. Yeah, I mean, people have said that one of the only ways you can beat Steve H is to out Steve H, Steve H. Yeah, and that's really hard. That's it is. really, really hard. So much easier said than done. That's one of the lessons Ooh, nice. I nice. Okay. Couple Dark Shell fighting back. Fireball. One of the lessons I first learned when I first got here, you know, Steve H was one of the Final first guys that started playing and like you know, I could hold my own in my weekly where I came from. I came from uh, Honolulu. <laughs> and I came out here and Steve H could like 30 and 0 me and I wouldn't even know this is the first time I'd ever seen in this game someone with punish a stand short with a stand short into super. Yeah. What? Disgusting. I was this I had was to be like season one. It was season one. Okay. What does it matter whether it was or not? <laughs> it, it was because he's not doing it now, according to the screen. <laughs> there was more input lag in season one, so like. Oh, so y'all had the same problem as second ed? Y'all had input yep. lag. Oh, okay. Same okay. problem. Oh, I so think that's pretty. That's pretty ridiculous. Tekken was able to address it a little more thoroughly and uh, effectively. There's still, I think, around five or six frames of input wow. lag in this game. So what, what adjustment do you think Steve need to make to, um, to this I matchup? I don't think Steve needs to make an adjustment. Um, you know. I think Ball, uh, Dark Child is doing a good chance of uh, adapting here, mm -hmm. but I don't think Steve can really Ooh, play nice a better punish. game. Maybe more consistent. I think he needs to start sweeping some of those whiff normals. From okay, Dark I Child. can see that. Get the uh, hard knockdown in. Is sweep uh, still a hard knockdown in this game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, no, you can tech it. Oh, okay. Sorry, Spring. But, you know, it's not. It doesn't leave him standing or something like that. Okay. I'm still Good learning. stuff. Interrupting the B skill. Ooh. It's all right. It's not as big a game as Tekken. We could probably <laughs> teach you this whole game with you sitting right here, man. Oh, yeah. Teach me, please. Okay. So normally that, that turn that you just saw, the Dempsey, uh -huh. like, Ooh. normally that gets right through Fireball. That's why he just did three of them. Good gosh. That killed him? Yeah. Oh, man. You haven't seen anything yet. So most most characters have around 1,000 health. I know Ryu has about 1,000 health. Balrog, with his V-Trigger activated, for the, the low, low price of two meters, uh, a full jumping combo will grant him like over 500 damage. Oh, that's half low? That's, half that's low. over half life, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. He just stopped the dash punch for the Solar Plexus Strike. He's going to be out of win for weeks. <laughs> Fix your ribs. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, nice, nice ending first. Wow, three big dashes up in his Yo, face and tries bro. to throw. That, that shows you that Dark Child is kind of desperate. He, he, he wants to end this. Yeah, he is, but it's also you kind of need to do a little bit of that against Steve H, you know, especially in this matchup. Throw him off. Yeah, if you if you don't try and take opportunities and seize it by the horns and look at that, just like that, Dark pops takes the B it. trigger. Yeah. Maybe not. I think it's gonna be close, but it's not gonna kill. He's dead. Oh, just yeah. barely. <laughs> Dark dead. Child taking it over Steve H. Sends Steve H to losers. I know Steve's not happy about that.